Okay, so I'm not going to Russian Castle because we're practicing the new ideas. So, because there's no immediate threat on the king at the moment. So let's try and win some tempe, get get the initiative. So they're actually going for the fried liver thing, I don't believe it. Okay, so they're going to go for it. Well, you wouldn't have thought they wasted all that time coming here not to actually go for it. I think more time, well, <laughs> what's happening here? So this is a, a different take on it. Let's just push on to the knight. But the general idea is putting pressure towards the king area. Uh, they just wanted to swarm it. And going to take here with the knight, we're on their bishop. Still going to take now with something, but we've now got support in this area. So I'm not sure if the advantage is there, unless there's something new and I'm missing the tempo. It's currently got two pieces under attack. Bishop is the one that can put a check on the king. Knight can take it off and attack the knight. Okay, so the knight's gone back. Knights hunt the bishops in our mantra. Uh, in this situation, is that going to be better for us? Doubles up a pawn. Might be okay. Taking here brings the rook in front of our king. So let's just take the bishop off the board. So I'm not sure if that was a move or the thing that was erroneous, but you never know. Let's just go for an x-ray through now onto their queen. Uh, do we bring it back or do we bring it here? If we bring it back, he's obviously pushing again onto here. Then we can come here. We're attacking this pawn twice. Okay, let's do that. Queen's protecting the pawn now. So queens aren't designed to protect the pawns, really support the pawns. So that's what they're going to be doing. They're going to be pushing down onto here. Are we brave enough to just take? Then they take, and then take. Or is it better taking with the bishop? There, take with the bishop. Takes, knight takes. Queen squeezes in, attacking the knight. It's on a white square. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna wear them apples. Can work though sometimes. So shall we move the bishop anyway, a preemptive strike. And I suppose the knight comes and supports. I suppose then his knight's going to attack our bishop. We've got space to come here. So it's a bit defensive, isn't it? Maybe if we get the rook here, then we get the rook here, then they push down, then they go here. Then the knight attacks the bishop. Bring the bishop back. Does the pawn push down? Is that they're trying to make it look messy out there? Pawn push down, takes, bishop takes. Move the bishop out of the way, we're on their queen. Queen squeezes into the gap here in front of our king. Yeah, that's the scrappiest thing that could happen. I think I'm just going to bring the bishop here. So the scrappiest pattern is, you know, they're looking to get some sort of activity with the queen type thing. Oh, let's just take that knight takes, he's on the bishop. Queen can come here with a check. Obviously I can't take the knight because his queen's protected. Bishop's got a free pawn, but greedy munching at this stage, not too sure. Got to see if we can improve the position. There's no immediate attacks really. I mean, once the knight's taken, it's just taking the bishop off the board, opens up our rook, and we've got a rook facing their rook anyway. So we'll put the check on. Probably expect the bishop to come here and attack, but then if they do that, we can take the knight off the board because it's blocking the queen. Move 
moves the king out of the way it's on a white square we do have a white square bishop we could bring it here looking to have an x-ray through to the king could take the pawn what's his knight got after that i'm going to take the pawn first has he got a whirlwind with the knights just checking them squares yeah they'll be coming back for the queen just the bishop out get a diagonal here maybe too many four processes we'll have to wait to see what they do Got the long pause thing going yeah okay so he's facing off the king here the bishop can take and then we can't take back so we could bring the knight here it's not going to drop here he's not going to drop there or could move the king can move the king this is more active knight attacks it is on the rim managing this square if it does come here the bishop can take it if it comes here the queen can take it if it goes here that's where it's probably going to go it's attacking this pawn three times with the rook and the queen yeah Okay, so let's have a look at that picture. So he moves there, moves there. So he's hitting it three times with the knight. But if he does move there, we can take the knight off the board. So I'm going to bring the knight and attack the queen. He might go for the exchange, probably fed up with us. Um, stopping him from getting developed with these pieces here his rook's not linked up but we're trying to block off anything that they've always oh, gone back and is protecting oh oh this is a nice square isn't it can't get there though bishop can come here but then his pawn's just going to drop but then the knight can jump up and get the rook Yeah, the pawn drops. In fact, you could just go with the knight and take rather than messing about. So attacking the higher piece, but he still wants to save his knight, so it probably comes here. But then that's even worse for them if they go there because that's a fork on the king and the queen. still gone there so we get the queen that's like magic you do love those sort of um those are those brilliances yeah they've resigned excellent 